Today I'm going to show you how I melted down an RV and the ingots just like these. This project all started because I wanted to build a tiny house. So I picked up a cheap RV on Craigslist for $400 and the plan was just to demolish it just so I could get the trailer to build my tiny house. I had this big pile of metal afterwards that was just sitting at my folks place for like four years. I always wanted to do something with it, but it got so mangled in the demo process that it wasn't really usable for say like a metal roof or something like that. So I wanted to melt it down. I made a foundry, cut down the metal so it would fit inside and started melting my scrap pile piece by piece. As you can see, safety is my number one priority. Don't do that at home. I cut the metal down so it would fit into the foundry. I poured the metal into muffin tins, donut molds, and an ingot mold that I fabricated from some metal scrap. This is what I'd envision would happen if the Terminator hung out with the Pillsbury Doughboy. Just them spending the day pouring molten muffins. These are gluten free, but they're bad for your teeth. I salvaged the copper wiring and tubing from the RV to melt down as well. I wait about 20 minutes for the metal to cool before I dump it into the water. And then I let it sit there until it's cool to the touch. This copper looks dirty, but the wire wheel polishes it up really well. So just how much metal did we make? Check it out. The crazy thing was, that wasn't even all the metal. This is my slag pile. Slag is the dirty aluminum that floats to the top of your molten metal in your crucible. You have to scrape this off with a ladle before you pour. A metal ladle, or else you're just gonna have more slag. Down the road, I'd love to remelt this metal and do some sand casting and kind of make some functional parts for some of the other projects I have. In the comments below, leave your guess on how much copper and how much aluminum we have by weight. If you like this project, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.